All right, hello guys. Um, yeah, I hope the audio is okay today. I've been watching it back recently and it's been having a load of reverb. Uh, right, I'm just gonna grab a coffee and I'll come back and we're gonna be chatting trim sheets. Chatting trim sheets, innit? it? Right, okay, hold on. Coffee, coffee. Alright, let's let's chat sheet. Trim sheet. Um Kettle's uh, kettle's boiling, so I'll go I'll go and grab ooh, yeah, okay. I'll go and grab uh, I'll grab it in a minute. Right, uh okie dokie. So what is a trim sheet? So trim sheets essentially are um text uh, the the materials or textures that ha that tile or can be reused, have a maximum reuse. So for example, if we have um, a really a really easy example of a trim sheet, the most basic example of a trim sheet would be a uh, horizontally and vertically tiling wall texture, infinitely tile in any direction. Um, a complex um, uh, concept for a trim sheet would be to have the the rim, the, the edges of rocks or, or the edges of stone. Um, you could have wraparound uh, columns. You could have uh, little details for ornate relief engravings on stone. Um, you, you're essentially you're taking a lot of, you're looking at your, your model kit. So for example, like these, and you're going, okay, so instead of me sort of making a HD model of this specific item, I want to texture it, I want to use part of a trim sheet and map that to this. Uh, and and uh, a base model uh, with obviously a lot more bevels and stuff. Uh, and it's going to look as good as the, the the sculpted asset. So so I've been I've been doing that for the castle just because the castle's so big. Um, so, so that's what I've been doing at the moment. Um, the, the an example of me creating or doing a trim sheet in ZBrush is up on a previous post about an hour ago. Uh, I think an hour ago. Um, that just shows that's a good example of, of creating um, trim sheets for windows. So, for example, this window here. This side bit, the bit that goes all the way up and around, that you can tie. This is going to be made out of bricks. Up. Uh, likewise, the interior bit, and obviously this is a block out, so this will be. I'll have an appropriate, a proper model. Um, this block here that's going to be supporting these columns, uh, and a block here. I I can use these sections. That tile horizontally to to uh, that I'm going to be that I'll have I will have sculpted to map to these bits of geometry and it will look like I've modelled it entirely from scratch um, and so yeah if I I can go I can have a I can show you the video I just popped up in case you haven't seen it I'm sure you have. Um, Nope, that's me. Um, yeah, so trim sheets. So, yeah, as you can see, let me just make sure this is top notch, high quality. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've got, I've taken, I've taken the, these parts and I've taken it into ZBrush and these will form a texture map. So I'm just sort of sculpting the relief details essentially into the edges and some surface detail. Now I don't need to sculpt all of the detail, all of the surface detail in because the, the, 
the the other surface detail that isn't on the edges and kind of maps to the geometry of these particular pieces i will get from the normal map and the other you know the other maps in the base material tiling material so essentially when i take this into substance painter uh, i will i'll create a piece of geometry that goes over the surface of these so that uh, just like i would bake a normal model and then I would derive the maps, such as ambient occlusion and edge maps and uh, normal maps and all the other vertex co uh, vertex colors for, for color masks. And then I will use different maps to texture this up. So I would get like a base mortar texture that will go, I would get uh, some lime, some, some clean limestone. I would get some moss, I would get some uh, you know, grungy assets, and and then I, you know, though I would use the maps derived from this uh, to create the final trim sheet. Um, and then what I can do is I can I can use this any way I want to quickly iterate on modules. Um, uh, it, mostly, what I've used to sculpt these is literally two brushes, just the the trim smooth border, which with a with a square alpha which is great you get that kind of chip chipping up you can kind of see me chipping away at, at it um, and then you've got uh, the JRO uh, stone uh, alphas um, so it's like pitted a pitted alpha that just kind of pops out pops out holes in it um, so so yeah that's essentially what a trim sheet is but let me go get my coffee um, what I want to do is kind of have a look at some examples on ArtStation of some trim sheets uh, and kind of have a look at the kit, what I'm going to use trim sheets on, what I'm not. Because um, if you see here, we've got we've got the uh, the coving, not the coving, yeah, I guess it's, you call it coving, that goes up and around here. But likewise, I can use that for the the edge, I can map that to the circular edge of this. That way we can use one texture map. I don't have to have like four gig of textures. We can cut that down to be good for your file size, good for your performance. Um, yeah, uh, as, a, as I've said before, you know, as we rocket through all these environments, I say rocket, it's kind of going up, but massively slow, a little bit slower than I'd, I'd like. Um, as we get through these environments, we will have, uh, I'll be adjusting the production processes to make them more optimized. Uh, right, I will be back momentarily. It looks like this is, I've set this to a live public stream. Have I done that? I have no idea. Probably. May the fourth be with you, by the way. <laughs> Watched The Mandalorian last night. It's, really, it's a really good series. If you haven't seen it, it's really good. Um, let me have a look. Do, 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 do. Uh, I might... Depending on when the kids get back, because they're out on their walk, yeah, okay, it's public, fine, whatever. Um, depending on when the kids get back, uh, I might have to cut the stream short. I don't you know how, depends how noisy they are. You know what it's like being, you know, locked down and such. Um, yeah, normally this would be a Patreon-only stream, um, but because it, I'm, I'm kind of, but well, it's not now. <laughs> but uh, if, if you if you're enjoying the content uh, and you want to see more live streams, I try. Recently, I've I've missed out a few just uh, cause of organizational things, but I've tried to make up for it with posts and free textures and models and such. Um, I try to do very very frequent live streams. Uh, sometimes I've get I get a string of one every day. Sometimes I miss a couple of days and then do do one. And um, I, I I tend to get at least two out. A week on a good week I get one every day um, just to go over the progress of the packs the tutorials uh, do, well, not tutorials but kind of going over certain processes and such so you can get those for the base um, the base cost of four dollars uh, and then it goes up depending on whether you want free models and textures and other bits and pieces I'll be back in a minute
Hey, okay, so so trim sheets, I mean, in architecture, they're, it makes sense to use them just because you're going to see a lot of repeat, a lot of facades have repeating sort of patterns to them. Uh, so we have a look at one of these. By the way, if you haven't got the block out of this medieval castle uh, and you want it, then you can get it from the uh, detailed medieval village kit. Let's see in the corner. Uh, for the low, low price of, uh, I think it's $99 in the US, 89, 32 euros. But yeah, you get these two kits, um, highly modular. You get the block out version of the castle and the detailed version of the medieval village. Uh, the block, the, the detailed medieval castle will be a separate kit, um, and the poly style medieval castle will be a separate kit. And then I'll be doing some variations of the castle, like an ogre sort of theme. So if you think World of Warcraft, basically that horde, um, and a bunch of others. Uh, yeah, so... Okie dokie. Right, let's have a look at... Let's have a look at our station. Um, and we'll so I'll go here, I'll, I'll bring Pinterest up as well. Right, so trim sheets. Yeah, so what is a trim sheet? That's a good example of a trim sheet. So you can you reuse these, you can kind of tile them horizontally, wrap them round things. Um, again, it's just built up in ZBrush. It's a really optimized way of texturing. This is all built using, I assume, one, yeah, these trim sheets. Some some sci-fi trim sheets. This is all made using a trim sheet. So if you see these trim sheets right here. Oh yeah, God of War. So pretty much every game is using trim sheets these days. Now to get that, like the, well, to get the geometry uh, reacting to the light, the lighting in the scene, I think I'm going to be, because we can, because I think we can do it, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be displacing the, ter the, uh, the objects after we've textured them up. So I'll tessellate the geometry, displace it, and then pro-optimize it. This is pretty cool. This is all, all using trim sheets, I think. Yeah, just this, ah, surely not. Yeah, just this, no, okay. A few different trim sheets. Yeah, so this is what we're going for. Maybe not exactly like this. trim sheets for the the roof tiles so so we've got a roof tile um, that will be a tiling texture but then I'll also include sort of bit be a bit like the medieval village using the same tiles probably different not different colors um, and maybe different colors uh, but what I'll have is a displaced geometry like I have on the other modules um, but this will be using a tiling texture as a base, so you can cut that up any way you want. Uh, and then I'll have these individual tiles as, ma as separate mapped uh, objects, also intersecting to pop out that geometry a bit further. And then along the bottom of these, I will have uh, a, uh, sort of three or uh, probably three or four. Um, tiles as an unwrapped object and then I'll just copy those across and I'll do the same for the side. So I'm probably going to have a four, a four tile individually wrapped horizontally tiling, a vertical four tile which will, I will kind of stick in and slant uh, and then all of the, the sort of the mass of the tile that isn't the edges will be uh, tiling texture uh, with a bit of tessellate or displaced geometry. 
Um, if you haven't seen, I can show you some uh, uh, screenshots of. So if you haven't seen my Twitter, I've got. This is another example of one of the trim sheets that I've done for the castle. Um, this, the bottom, the bottom left, as you can see there, it's um, that's going to be the ballisters. So ballisters. Where is it? These guys. So yeah, these guys will get mapped to. this. And this won't just be like a flat normal map. This will be, I'll, I'll bake, geom bake geometry to this. Um, and then I will, any, any big bits of detail, um, I will have displaced geometry on the final asset. Oh yeah, coffee's going down well today. How's everybody doing anyway? Anyway, um, yeah, some walls. Um, this won't be, for example, this this isn't going to be like just a flat piece of geometry either. Move you down. Um, this is going to be a displaced geometry, but it will, but it will tile. So if you want to have flat geometry, then you can do. So you can do like a mobile version, etc. I would really, really, yeah. Uh, I would love to show you um, inside ZBrush in real time, except just the the audio goes really dodgy. Yeah, so these uh, are the cobble tiles that I was gonna do just as tiles, but I think again this will be a trim sheet, and then I'll displace after the fact, just so that if you want to use this to, to just tile on a large piece of geometry, like low, 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 low poly geometry than you can. So these will replace these guys. To be completely honest, I'm most of the way there. It, this is a this is a fraction of the trim sheets that I have, but I am most of the way there um, with finishing off the uh, this part of the production, and then it's going to be a matter of um, texturing up these essentially, um, which I really need to get done quick. <laughs> Not quick, but like. We need to get this out soon. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, uh, if you haven't seen the pack, if you haven't had a chance to play around with it, um, you can do so on the Unity Asset Store. Um, if you want to see live streams of you know, how we're getting on, um, sort of maybe long form live streams, um, I haven't done a because I've not been in the office. I haven't done like a four or five hour long form live stream. But as soon as I'm back in, hopefully next month. Um, hope, well, hopefully in a few weeks, actually, then I'll be doing some four or five hour long form streams. Uh, I think I need to do some tests to make sure that I haven't got all that reverb with audio when I'm using ZBrush. Um, it might, I'm not sure why that is, uh, but um, but yeah. Uh, hey, Joe, how's it going? I think things I've got left. I'm tempted to do these objects. Any objects that are like accent objects, it'd be, you know, there's no point. Well, maybe I could use trim sheets for some of it, but um, I kind of prefer not to. Uh, these need to get modeled up um, properly in ZBrush. I say properly, but like, you know, bespoke. Um, I need to get, I need to get like, uh, the statues done. Um, we need to get the flags and the the, the props done. Um, what else? What else? What else? The woods done. All the woods. All the stonework is done. Even the I've even got 
the um, spiral staircase is done, they look quite, quite cool. Yeah, and then when these get swapped out, these will all automatically get swapped out as well. It's nice, it's nice seeing this with fresh eyes, because I work, I think I must have worked on this, I had a couple of weeks, I had a week off or so, um, on holiday, but it must, must have been a good six weeks flat out on this. That's what I did the long form streams doing, sort of building these modules. Let's go over and have a look at the demo soon. Yeah, it's been ages since I've done a proper stream, to be honest. I think I must, uh, I must have only done a two or three this sort of past two, three weeks, Jay. It's, um... No. Come on. Yeah, it, it's been tough working. We, we're in a relatively small place, and so uh, we've got two kids. We've got a almost one year old and four year old and they are they will go mental <laughs> it's just you know they run kids are kids they'll run around all over the place um there are no boundaries you know there's no point shutting the door put it that way um and so it's really difficult to stream but um we obviously we've got our walks that we go our daily exercise so i go i tend to go out in the morning for 40 minutes to an hour with my son baby a sling got a lake and some woods near us so i go for a walk there um sets me up for the day it's quite nice actually and then my wife takes my daughter and son out for about an hour uh around this time of the day sort of mid-afternoon um now she's back off maternity leave she's um she's a primary school teacher so she's uh, doing She's got meetings and uh, she's got to do work as well. And so that I've got to watch the kids when she's doing work, but she's not got like full days. She's got one full day every every three weeks. And then she does two or three days a week anyway. Uh, so, so she's not full time anyway. Uh, anyway, it, it means that it makes it a bit more difficult. Um, yeah, so when this, is, when this is done, it's going to be quite good, I think. Post, okay, maybe put some post processing on here. It's been a while since I've seen this. Post processing layer, not layer, volume. volume. It's global. You. 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 Yes, I do. So, point four, point two. Cheers, man. We had the site. We had the Easter sale um, just gone um, this April. So that that I was not expecting how well that would go. It went really well. We had a really, we had a terrible March. It, it was down like 30, 40 percent at least. And so yeah, last month made up for that. And this month I think isn't going too badly. So. Um, I just need to get these packs out. Pronto, pronto. Um, yeah, so when this is all done up with the high detail, I'm really looking forward to start to swapping those assets in. I almost don't want to see what it looks like when it's half swapped in. I kind of want to swap them all in and then have a look just for that kind of reveal. I can, can show you guys as well. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I'd love to take a few of these rooms and just like prop them, prop them out. So like, so take, so take maybe one of these towers, make a proper wizard's wizard's house with it. Um, and I think there's a there's a guy called. Hold on. If I go Pinterest. And do Jean Baptiste Mond. Baptiste Mond. Mange. 
this guy is fantastic. Um, I'd love to do something this detailed. Like take do a few dioramas. Obviously, I can't kit out the entire castle. I think that'd be that'd be silly. It wouldn't need to. Um, but just like you know, books and hay and hmm, books and straw and bottle old old musty bottle bottles and like shelves and rope and uh, yeah, all of that, all of that good stuff. And the problem is, if I do that, then it kind of makes sense to then do a character as well, almost. But then the work just starts to ratchet up. Um, and because it's detailed, I can't really use a placeholder. They look a bit weird. Anyway, I'm going to go because the kids are back. Um, so take it easy, guys. I will hopefully be on tomorrow, and I'm going to crack on, do you crack on with these uh, trim sheets. Um, I'll, as always, I'll keep you updated. Uh, please subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already, that'd be great. And please check out all of our asset kits. Uh, and if you want to catch up with all our live streams, then please join us on Patreon, um, Astrofish Games. Bye!